All right, in this short video, we're going to look at how to add a text page in Moodle. So once you are in your course, the first thing you always want to do when you're adding things is come up here to the edit mode, turn that on. This will now give you a bunch of more options. And you want to scroll down to when you see this item right here, which is add an activity or resource. Uh, now, you'll want to add it to the appropriate section. So I'm going to add it right here, but if you might have this in week one, week two, week three, etc. So wherever you want to want it to go, that's where you'll want to go. So if it was in week one, I'd scroll down to the bottom here and I would add that activity or resource. Once I'm here under all, I'm going to look for page. I'm going to select page and I'm again going to give it an important title. And now you might be a little confused here, and so just keep this in mind. Description is you describing what this page is about. You do not have to fill out this area um, unless there's a really good reason for you to have this, and maybe a sentence or two when you allow for that to display on the course page. Um, you might want to do that. Largely, though, you can leave this entirely blank. But the page content, this is where you want all of that content. So if you have um, some notes, some tips, whatever you're going to write in here, you can write in here. Um, also with the HTML editor bar, this all right here, you can also play around with the text. So you can do headings, you can make things bold or italics, you can bullet, uh, you can uh, do an ordered list, indent. Uh, this is to create something, to turn something into a hyperlink. If you want to insert an image, if you want to insert a video, um, a video that you're linking to or video and audio that you're creating. So you have a bunch of different options. You put all of that in here. You know, you have it all set, ready to go. Under appearance, you might have a few options you want to just kind of be, you might want on the page, which is display the page description. So if you did put something in the description, it would also show up on this page uh, and display last modified. You may or may not want that. Um, edited. Uh, you may or may not want that on under activity completion. Uh, here you will have the choice of uh, do not indicate any activity completion. This means there's nothing connected. It, there's no indication to the student whether they've looked at it or not. Students can mark it manually that they've done it or show activity as complete when conditions are met. For pages, it's typically that they've viewed it and that gives them an indicator um, that they have done something that uh, just they know that they've looked at that page and it's, it's clear. You can also set a date of when you want them to complete it by. And so that will show up in things like their, uh, their upcoming events and activities and things like that. It's just a nice extra way to, to ping. When it comes to creating pages, um, instead of save and return to course, I always recommend save and display because that will bring you to the page and show you what it will look like. Um, and sometimes when you're formatting, editing, you know, you really want to make sure it looks the way that you're thinking it looks and it doesn't, it's not always clear. So that is how you use the page tool. Um, thank you very much.